Not even Ryan Dempster could pinpoint what he believes the biggest problem with the Cubs is this year. But what do you think it is how long before the main question goes from the Cubs going to be buyers or sellers to are the Cubs going to fire David Ross or are we already there? Boy, I, I mean, it is a very difficult. Um, I, I I heard Rossi talk about the uh, the lack of production, and he basically said, you know, the, the guy's got to hit, and that there's nothing he can do about that. Meaning that that's like an individual um, element for each player, but it it just sounded wrong when he said there's nothing he can do about it because if he can't do anything about it. If they're not doing it and he can't do anything about it, that's not a good sign, right? That That is a troublesome sign. I don't think they want to do anything. I don't think that they are looking at this and saying that Rossi has to go, but I don't think he's covered himself in glory. And I think the problem is the team is kind of, they are like kind of bleeding out like slowly. It's like they got like a, you know, some kind of a puncture wound and, and it's not... It's too deep, and they, they're going to need some help here, and they're just kind of trying to go through it, and it's just your precious life's blood that's dripping out of you. You got to be, you know, get to a hospital. You got to get somebody to do some meatball surgery on you quickly here, or there's this is not going to end well. So I think, I, I think that it will be hard for them to make a move with the manager. And I think that they don't want to make a move with the manager. And I think that's probably an off season issue, but I've never really heard people going after the manager in quite the way they are now. It's almost, it's almost like he's lost a lot of ground with the fans and he, he had a lot of goodwill built up and that is, uh, that is quickly leaving the account. The offense is broke. We all worried, even when we had higher hopes for the Cubs. I'll raise my hand. When I had higher hopes for the Cubs, we still were worried about the lack of pop. Where, where were the home runs? Well, Suzuki. Suzuki will hit twenty-five. Suzuki will hit twenty-five home runs. That, that's not. <laughs> that's not going to happen. Um, Ian Happ's not going to hit twenty home runs. Mm. Um, Patrick Wisdom had a great April. Is he going to hit 25 home runs? Maybe. Maybe, but he's going to strike out how many times in order to hit 25 home runs? And all the, the younger Cubs that have come up have all stunk out loud at the same time. Like, they don't have one. I mean, Amaya, but it, Amaya in the, these little short doses. I mean, if not for Amaya and Mancini the last two nights... I mean, how bad would this offense look right now? You said the offense is broke. I think it's not doesn't have a lot of pieces that that scare you if, if you're an opponent of the Cubs. They still lack a big power bat in the middle. I think the bullpen still lacks some pieces. There's not anybody you go and depend on consistently at the back end. So those are things that I don't know if any manager can overcome. Right. So I understand why David Ross is right now the object of a lot of fan scorn because there's a lot of dissatisfaction and the expectations were raised in April and we thought it would be better than this. And I was among those people that thought it would be better than this. I just don't know if it's fair to call for the guy's job. But it's out there. You're right, Molly. I think it's palpable. Yesterday, for instance, Joe Girardi turns down the Central Florida job that he was offered. And tweet out about that or how it was good for Marquis because I love watching and hearing Joe Girardi in the booth. A lot of the feedback I got, both in social media and privately, was, well, he's just waiting for Rossi to get fired. I don't think that's the case, but I do think that's the atmosphere. I think that's the tenor of Cub fans right now. They're waiting for something big and bold to happen. I think they're going to keep waiting. I don't think this is a manager problem. I think this is a roster problem. And that's as much on the front office as it is on David Ross. You can question lineups. Master Boney can still drive you crazy. I don't understand some things that he does in-game, but I don't think that the Cubs are where they are because they have a bad manager.